Well, I showed you the Buck uh, Quick Fire. It's made in USA. Okay. USA. USA made. And uh, this is actually, you know, it lives up to its name, Quick Fire. There's no doubt about it because uh, it takes nothing to really open this up. And, uh, there's my receipt in there. <laughs> it's got a little warranty card on it. It's got a forever warranty. Which is more than you could say for other knives, that's for sure. <laughs> um, you can see it's got the pocket clip. It's four and a quarter inches closed. Now, this is this one actually is a very, very high quality blade for what the heck you're paying for. It's 30 bucks approximately delivered. I, that's what I paid. Um, some places... Well, I don't know what it retails for, but you can get it for about 30 bucks, roughly, if you look around. Maybe even a little less. Um, I'm going to say something that this assisted opener, assisted spring opener, it's not a full automatic. This is a full automatic Italian, right? You press the button, Frank Beltrami, right? This thing opens up as easy as that, and thus, <laughs> this has a safety on it, right? and so does this guy right here okay um, this thing actually I'm very well impressed with this the quality on this knife is excellent the other thing is the blade is 420 HC 420 high carbon don't go confusing 420 high carbon with 420 and even 420 well Buck uses 420 high carbon in just about every blade they well most of their blades right but it's their particular type of heat tree that really makes the difference. So the safety's on. You can't push this open. This is an ETP, ejection molded plastic, but it's a freaking really high quality type of plastic. I'm not a fan of plastics, but not all plastics are equal. This handle is actually very lightweight, very strong. It's got buck, you know, in there you can see on the handle. So when you put the, the safety down, it slides very easily. You can see it's going over a hump. If the safety is even like not all the way out down, it won't open. So it's not like, you know, you pull it off the safety a little bit like that and it opens or this. It's got to be all the way down. It's very easy to slide. This thing opens up like as easy as this, as the Italian full automatic. It opens that easy. The other advantage is instead of a liner lock, it's got the locking mechanism in the back here you see um, it fits into not exactly like the Italian switchblade but you know it's not it's not a liner lock it's this is a better mechanism it fits right in the back of that notch on the blade right and it's got the pocket clip and it says Buck USA on right here near the spine this edge will hold together quite a bit longer than a lot of other edges out there. <laughs> um, you can see the Italian switchblade design has, you know, this is a standard, pretty much, it's a Frank Beltrame made in Italy, but, you know, it's it's the real deal. It's not a Chinese knockoff or anything. It's got the, but uh, it opens, this buck, assisted opener, is legal in more states and it has less stringent laws than this guy you know, because this is a push button on the handle and I'm not saying this is legal in every state what I'm saying is it's legal in a lot more states because it's an assistant openers less stringent laws on assisted openers and it's super easy to open up now these two knives I'm showing for a reason these are and these are Chinese knives okay these are not these are freaking decent for ten bucks I'm gonna tell you, not everything in China, you know, people knock China, 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 but you know, I knock people buying a Apple Watch made in China that somebody marked up, you know, five thousand percent or something <laughs> over here in Silicon Valley in California. And I don't know what the hell you're getting from that, but this I you know, it's a good, very good knife, actually. This is ten bucks. But and this used to be my easiest opening, assisted, one of my easier ones. And it is easy to open and this one is too very much so probably the easiest but compared to the buck 
this one opens much easier it's I mean I don't know why you would need you know it, in other words these are damn good enough for freaking assisted openers but there's no safety on them really there isn't well there isn't any safety on them it's got the liner lock these are good knives for 10 bucks they are you know they are they're not bad they're not bad at all I don't you know I'm not I'm not too much against buying anything in I try to buy USA, but I buy some Chinese. I buy Chinese, too. I mean, I'm not against somebody buying some Harbor Freight tools, either. But I buy Armstrong tools and made in USA S&K tools, right? SK tools, right? But, um, you know, tools and knives are things that can last you a long time. No problem with buying something like that from China. Um, the safety... You know, it's pretty much the same way, you know, you've, you have, but you know, the difference is, with this safety, you know, it's being on a handle, this, well, this is really on a handle too, but you know, you have to point out something else too, say for instance, um, okay, the safety is down on this, the safety is up on this one, so, in this one, when you close it, right, the safety is still on. Once I put the safety on, right. So if I I had this open, I put the safety on, and I go to close it, safety's still on. You got to slide it down. This one, and I'm not saying it's a fault. It's just the way the mechanism is, or anything. Like, you know, it's just the way it is. This one opens up slick as hell, right. Um, if I put the safety on while I'm using it, I'm not saying this is a fault of it or anything, just saying for your information only. Because say for instance, you decide, oh, I'm going to put the safety on now and close it. All right? See what happens when you close it? The safety goes off, okay? And that is just how it is, okay? So whenever you close it and you want the safety on, you don't put the safety on before you close it. You put it on after you close it. I'm not sure if you really, really need, well, this one opens so easy that it's, it's, it's a damn good idea to have the safety on it. These open up very easy, and there's no, you know, it's, but they're not going to open that, that easy, you know. This bad boy, <laughs> it's probably a good thing they got that safety on there. And like I said, I like this mechanism where, the way it locks up, uh, it's got, you know, it's a fairly, thick blade you can see it's thicker than this guy right it's a little bit thicker and the blade material is definitely better this is um, but you know you're paying more for it and this knife will probably last you since it's got a lifetime warranty on it as long as you don't abuse it it's gonna last you a lifetime but you know the Chinese knife will probably last you a lifetime too I don't really want to knock the Chinese quality on a lot of stuff because, uh, you know, as long as you know what the capabilities are, just don't overdo it. But this one, you know, if you got an extra knife on you that you really have to really, really, really depend upon, um, besides your fixed blade, this is a good choice. It's not bad. It's very, it's a value. It's a value. It really is made in USA, and that's what I'm really kind of glad about Buck. You know, it's not like Schrade and Old Timer and all that crap. They're, they're, they're selling everything in China now, and I'm not knocking China for that, but I'm knocking the big corporations. And I know it's a decision, it's a financial decision, and blah, blah, blah. Well, the other, the other aspect, the flip side, is yes, if we want everything made in USA, but everybody's got to start freaking working their ass off a lot harder. It's not just all unfair trade, you know what I mean? Um... But the other thing is, you don't want to buy old Chinese, of course. <laughs> and then we got no business over here. And, you know, it might be too cost prohibitive to buy all USA. And USA products don't necessarily offer everything there is in every style. Because, you know, I like this thing. <laughs> Just because it's, it's got a gold paw on it and it's... Ten bucks, and it's got Boo Boo Bear and Big Bear, or 
bear and a wolf and a moon. I like this one because it says USMC, the few and the proud. And this one's better quality, but those are not shit quality. You know, 10 bucks each. This one, you know, was 59 bucks from Italy. I support some Italian manufacturers, but I'm very, very, very surprised that this USA knife offered at this price is offering this much. Because again, that's a 420 high carbon steel blade. And it's not just because it's 420 high carbon steel, like, you know, 420 HC if you're not doing a heat treat right. Buck knives has their own proprietary type of heat treat. And that they use this extensively in their blades. It's it's a good it's, it's gonna hold an edge good, it's gonna be easy to sharpen and uh, rust resistant and all that, and stainless steel. And um, it's fairly thick and it's got a very good design. And this ejection molded uh, plastic, thermal plastic ETP, it's very, very hard. You, you would almost think it's made out of metal. Not all, not all ETP ejection thermal molded plastics are the same. And um, you can see, you know, the rivets in there and the lanyard hole, which is not. The lanyard hole is not through the ejection molded plastic, it's through the stainless steel. This bad boy is, it's, it's well worth it. It's a very well made knife at a good price with a lifetime warranty. Glad I got it man. Just remember that when you, if you put the safety on, when it's open, uh, the safety automatically goes off <laughs> when you close it. So you got, if you want to put the safety on, you make sure you put it on after you close it. And like I said before, this thing does have a much better... I mean, there's nothing wrong with these liner lock mechanisms. Actually, I bend these over a little further so they get more in the middle. Like this one's more in the middle. This one's more in the middle. They're gonna, definitely going to engage very well. Sometimes they don't go quite as far over to the blade and then if you're using a blade you might be <laughs> closing on your fingers I make sure they go into the, we're in the middle the liner locks are okay but this is a better locking mechanism when you got it on the back like that where it goes into that right in that notch that's a better mechanism excellent knife excellent knife well made tight Going to stay sharp, easy to, easy to sharpen when it ever does get gold, and um, it's got the warranty on it. You can't beat it, man. You can't beat it. Again, made in USA. So there you go.